as a pre-holiday sale until uh, the 15th of November. I do have all four at the moment, so we can talk about all these seeds. Uh, the full line, E2, E3, and the E1X, and finally the newest one, the E2X. Uh, with the risk of repeating myself from last time, I will try to uh, just speak on uh, what's similar, what's not, what they're good for, what they're not, how to set them up. I will try to keep it brief, um, but hopefully I don't miss anything. So uh, um, the seeds are all very similar uh, as far as um, weight. The lightest one is the, the E2, uh, just less material, obviously. And um, the one difference is carbon rails. My E1X have carbon rails, so they save about 80 grams. Uh, typically, all the other seeds are running from 245 grams to 265 for the E3, E1X, E3. But if you if you add the carbon rails, the weight goes down to about um, 185 grams, which I just measured. So that's great savings. And this this seed's obviously my preferred seed for uh, climbing. Um, I did a couple of fondos this year. Um, yeah, it saves you a good amount of weight. Um, but let's start with the E2, the most popular model, the cheapest model. Um, really, um, this seat is good for a long distance for people that have more uh, flexibility. I would say the, um, the width of all the, the seats is the same, um, 10.25 inches, which is 260 millimeters by uh, six and a half, which is 165 millimeters. Um, and the inside from seat bone to seat bone, it's a 130 millimeter max. So uh, with that said, um, the seat are typically not preferable for, for short people or for people that are super uh, tall. I'm 6'1", I'm really borderline, 6'1", 6'2", um, above 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", um, they're not really gonna work for, for those riders. So maybe uh, look elsewhere. But um, uh, this seat is, is, is really great. The difference between the E2 and the, and the E3 is really the thickness of the padding. Uh, and then the E3 have this channel in the front. So if you're in the TT position and you duck down, uh, it, it gives you a, a nice relief in the front. Uh, I did use this one to cross the country this year during Bike Nonstop US. Uh, great seat. Obviously, piece of advice is use conditioner. If it's um, uh, humid, if it's raining, it's uh, it's leather, so it will get you know dry, and eventually it might start peeling off. I've seen pictures of seats peeling off in the front, so uh, keep that in mind. But honestly, uh, although the E3 have thicker foam, um, I don't see much difference as far as comfort. Uh, unlike what most riders think that more padding equals more comfort, that has not been the case. Uh, and I've used these seats for the last um, five years, probably 25,000 miles. So I can definitely tell you that this is, this is just as comfortable as the E3. If you have the extra money, I would definitely prefer the E3. Um, what else? Uh, the seats can come with uh, different rail colors. So that can be also uh, customized. The, the E1X is, is fully customizable. This one is matching the color of my bicycle. Um, but you can have blue, carbon fiber, electric lime, pink, I mean, all kinds of different colors of rails. Um, another thing to consider is when, when you install the seats, typically uh, we tell people to have the, the rails parallel to the top two. Um, I'm riding more aggressive position. So mine is tilted forward. How much? I'm not going to tell you. You have to go and get a bike fit. Um, but really, you want to sit in the in the pocket here, and your hips will lock in. Uh, they're sinking in, and and you know there's no contact point. There's no problems. But mine is tilted forward a bit uh, to my liking. Uh, so there's that. Uh, we spoke about the the E3. Um, this is really good for triathletes. 
obviously, obviously ultra cyclists. I mean, for all kind of riding, but specifically ultra cycling triathletes, the E3. Um, obviously, you can swap the, the rails with carbon. Another thing maybe to mention about the carbon rails, um, here's the one with the carbon rails. Although they save you weight, obviously, heavier riders, uh, you have to be careful attaching seat bags and in weight, have to be careful. I will also add that if the seat clamp is not in the middle, but too far forward, too far back, uh, you're risking snapping the, the rails because you're going to have too much weight forward or back. So, um, you know, that comes without saying. Um, when you do install the seat, maybe mention this. Um, don't just measure where the previous seat clamp was. I rather measure um, the widest part of the seat and match it with the widest part of the infinity seat, which means that your rails might, you know, might not be at the exact same position uh, from your previous seat. Um, treat it with leather. We did say that already. Leather conditioner. Uh, they're all handmade. They're made in the United States. So, I mean, what's not to like it? Uh, the one that I didn't talk much about is the E2X, which is really a, a mixture between the, the E2 and the E1X. Um, the E2X, it's uh, something that I've been uh, testing recently in the last two, three months. It's a great seat. Uh, I think they're all coming with uh, organic leather. It feels soft, and as uh, you can read on the website, just like uh, uh, gloves, you know, like leather gloves, really nice and soft feel. So uh, um, if you're not as flexible, I would say this is this is a better choice. Um, you you still have this holes here, so your 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 hips can lock in, but you're not uh, sinking completely in, so you have that feeling uh, of a standard seat. Um, um, the rear vents, they allow the cyclist to slide back in the rear and get some support uh, while, you know, mastering their pedal stroke up the hills and it locks you um, without the ability to slide like the E2 and it will level your pelvis. Um, the leather is vegan. Uh, I already said that. Um, they've been tested for strength and durability. Really nice soft feel. Um, what else I wanted to mention? Uh, maybe we should speak about the E1X again. Let's go back to this one. Um, really, like I said, mostly for climbing, you get a nice push on the climbs. You're not sinking in. Um, so this seat uh, has served me well during a couple of grand fondos. It's probably the seat that I have tested the, the least amount of times. But uh, it's a great seat. Um, I would say that this is for, for more of a novice cyclist, uh, people that like riding mostly in the upright position rather than in the TT bars. Uh, gravel, I would prefer this one for gravel. Um, um, so yeah, the price obviously is uh, different for each seat, E3 being the most expensive one. At, uh, I believe it's uh, $397, but currently the, the sale is uh, $50 off. If you use my first name, Georgie, you will save uh, 50 bucks, excluding shipping, I believe. Uh, the E2X is $347. The E1X is $337. This is before taking off 50 And then the most popular and cheapest, $297. Um, 